Transfer of Heat by Convection In this module, you will learn about the transfer of heat by convection. Water is boiled by heating it under the container. It cannot be done by heating it from the side or from the top. This is because of the peculiar way heat is transferred in liquids. Let us perform an activity to demonstrate the transfer of heat in liquids and gases. The items required for this activity are a round bottom flask, tripod stand, candle, matchbox, straw, potassium permanganate crystals and water. Fill approximately two-thirds of the flask with water and place it on the tripod stand. Wait till the water in the flask is still. Now, with the help of a straw, gently place a crystal of potassium permanganate at the bottom of the flask. Now, heat the water by placing the lighted candle just below the crystal. Carefully look at the pattern in which the pink color spreads. Directly above the flame, it goes up but it sinks at the sides. Why does this happen? When water is heated, the water near the flame gets hot and rises up. The cold water from the sides moves down towards the source of heat. This cold water then gets hot and rises up. This process continues until the whole water attains the same temperature. This kind of heat transfer is known as convection. In convection, there is an actual transfer of the particles of the medium. This process necessitates the heating of a liquid from below rather than from the side or the top in order for it to boil. So, convection is the mode of heat transfer in liquids. Heat transfer in liquids takes place by the process of convection. But what about the heat transfer in gases? Let us see. Observe the smoke coming out of a burning incense stick. The effect may not be as clear as in the case of water. This is because even a slight movement in air can disturb the smoke. If there is no movement in air, then the smoke does not spread immediately around. First, it rises up and then spreads. This is because the air near the burning tip gets hot and rises up. Cold air from the sides moves downwards and the process repeats. Here again, there is an actual transfer of the particles of the medium. That is, in the case of gases too, convection is the mode of transfer of heat. You can test this by holding your palm at a safe height above a candle flame. The palm feels hot only when it is held directly above the flame. If the palm is held on the sides of the flame, it does not feel so hot. This is because of the fact that hot air always rises up as it becomes lighter. So, it can be inferred that convection is the mode of heat transfer in both liquids and gases. In this module you have learnt, convection is the mode of transfer of heat in liquids and gases. In convection, there is an actual transfer of the particles of the medium.